I am sitting here with uh, a friend of the program who I am thrilled uh, that uh, you are here, sir, because your new film, MVP, debuts across the country, and it spotlights so many impressive uh, achievements as well as underscores so many important, um, I guess, issues going on with those who are uh, involved in MVP and obviously coming off the battlefield a film by and directed by Nate Boyer right here on the Rich Eisen Show. Good to see you, Nate. Good you too, brother. You. Thank you, man. Uh, brother, you, I know you've been working on this film for quite some time, but it is Long now time, time f- to, to put it out there for everyone to see. How, I mean, how are you feeling? I'm, I'm right uh, of course, nervous, uh, excited. Um, I'm really excited for, for MVP, the charity, for Merging Vets and Players. I mean, this, that's what the story's all about. You know, the film's based on the genesis uh, of, of this organization that I co-founded with Jay Glazer. And, you know, we bring together combat vets and former professional athletes and help them find purpose and identity when the uniform comes off. Um, And a couple of years after we'd been doing our our regular huddles, you know, in the programs uh, that we we meet up every week at Unbreakable, uh, Jay's gym up there in West Hollywood. And we train for about 45 minutes and then we huddle up for 45 minutes or so. And I've witnessed it. You and have. people put, you know, it, it literally is blood, sweat, and tears. It truly, it, it truly, truly is. You're sweating and people have just worked out and you're working. Then you work through. Exactly. You work out That's and then great, you work actually. through. I'm stealing that. Please take it because <laughs> it is a beautiful thing to witness. You Thank know? you, Rich. You know, it, 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 it is. It, it absolutely is. And it's, it's, it's changed me. It's helped me. Um, honestly, without helping build that, I probably wouldn't believe in myself to even try such an endeavor as trying to make a movie. Um, but when that story spoke so loudly, I mean, Denver, who you've met, Denver Morris, he's been on the show. What am I saying? He Denver and AJ. Indeed. Yeah, right. Denver and AJ, who have been on the show, both of these guys uh, served our country um, and struggled quite a bit coming home. And this story, the, the, the character uh, Zephyr that, I, that I'm playing in the film, that really the movie sort of hinges around uh, from the veteran side, is based on those guys' backstories. And so many of the other stories we've heard from vets that come through our doors. And with the, you know, the, the, the veteran suicide issue that we deal with in, in, the, in the world today, really, not just our country, um, it's an important thing to talk about. It's a hard thing to talk about. Um, but we got to talk about it. We got to we got to work out, and then we got to work through, just like you said. Mm-hmm. And this guy, this character, he meets uh, a former NFL player, first year out of the league, named Will Phillips. You know, and also a composite character. So many of the the men and women who play professional sports at a high level that walk through our doors, it is built. That character is built off of their stories. Um, they meet each other. You know, one of these guys, the former player, first year out of the league, he's got the wife, the kid, the the car, the house, Mm -hmm. Um, but at the end of the day, he feels like he has nothing. And this veteran is living in a homeless shelter uh, on Sunset Boulevard, and it's a a very real place. I mean, we filmed on location in this shelter. All veterans live there. They call it the barracks, 48 bunks. They're always full, and there's a waiting list. Um, And these guys meet, nothing in common on paper, but they're going through the same stuff, and they work through it together, and, and ultimately the goal is to save one another, you know, and that's really what we do at MVP. I mean, I've seen it. I've personally witnessed it, you know, not just for having watched the uh, workouts and work through sessions, but, you know, I trained there for a 40 yard dash season and I saw guys who were living in, as you referred to, the homeless barracks who then would come to work at Unbreakable at the gym. And then I'd look at the list of those who are appearing in this film in cameos i'm seeing you know randy couture tony gonzalez howie long michael strahan tom arnold um wiz khalifa um has an original song for this yes this is the unbreakable (laughs) family like these are all people who have worked out of the gym or know you no glaze you know and then uh, executive produced by sylvester sloan like the mvp family is coming together to make this movie jay glazer if i had not met jay (laughs) <laughs> I don't know what I'd be doing. I'd maybe be back in the military. Who knows? And that's totally great. And, you know, sure. of course, I would, I would, I would, as we all do, we would figure out life. But Jay is, is not only uh, an absolute bulldog and just makes things happen. I mean, you, 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 at all levels, and you've seen it yes. in various ways. But he is, is just, he just gives and he connects and he just wants people to win and be successful and gives them an opportunity. Mm-hmm. And it's not just me. Um, I think I, 
I was, uh, I saw that opportunity and I definitely grabbed onto it and, and, and took advantage of it and ran with it. Um, but the reason those, those people wanted to be a part of this was because of the story, because of the, the members, you know, because mm-hmm. of the, the vets and players family. Um, and, and I mean, that's what spoke to them. And that's why they were like, you know, in the middle of the pandemic, sure. You're one of those people. Sure. You know, I, I whatever you need, we'll do it. And, uh, and it's, and it's awesome. And I'm, I'm grateful for um, also, you know, the NFL and the NFL network, like lending the space and the time and helping us push this out. Uh, super grateful for another J Connection, GNC. Uh, they're our biggest sponsor and they're the reason we're getting this, this wide theatrical release. I mean, it's all through people um, that have heard the story, have been touched by merging vets and players. And, and honestly, without Jay's crazy ass vision, <laughs> you know, yeah. it wouldn't be a thing. I mean, he, he told me this, I remember thinking, and I did both. And I can tell you both those locker rooms are the same. The struggles are the same. But I remember thinking like, I don't know, man, at sports in the military, that's a tough comparison to make. And he's like, yeah, we're not comparing, you know, we're talking about the transition. We're talking about after that uniform comes off. Yes. That experience. Which and then of course is the you, same. And of, it maybe that th- that is the same, but it's also uh two groups of people that need one another. Yeah. <laughs> right? Or, or, and call also can understand not just transitioning but also competitive spirit, yep. also understanding as well that there is a brotherhood, sisterhood, however you want to put it, yeah. that that everyone does need one another. And and it is a beautiful thing to witness. And, and it's now a movie. Again, MVP across the country today. And w- I want to get in a little bit about how people can see it or make sure that they do see it yep. uh, in a theater near you. But I, I do need to linger a little bit here, Nate Boyer, um, U.S. Army Green Beret, Nate Boyer, director Nate Boyer. I mean, you want to talk about uh, 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 putting two worlds together why in the world direct it? I mean, is this something you've always wanted to do? Cause that's no, about, I mean, like being out of your lane, I would think that that's another version of that. Right. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, I love, I love helping people tell their stories. I love sure. storytelling myself. I love, I've loved movies my whole, my whole life as many people do. Right. Um, and this opportunity, the story that just came up organically cause it, it is based on real people, real events, like uh-huh. these things happened. That's how we started these sessions is meeting some of these, these men that were living in this shelter, living in this, in the barracks there. It just was like, it's, it was so interesting. Like we've got Hollywood and then we've got this homeless shelter. We've got this, you know, superstar NFL athlete. And we've got this, this military veteran who's really struggling with PTSD and other things like all the juxtaposition. I was like, man, it's just, it's so interesting. It has to be a movie. So we started there and then, you know, Stallone, who's been a big supporter of MVP, the, the organization, yes. charity, um, and, and, and Braden Aftergood, his producing partner, were just like, this is, this, you know, this script needs a lot of work off the first draft. And we took the notes and we worked on it. And he's like, but at the end of the day, we do believe a veteran should direct this movie, um, no matter what you make it for. And it wasn't a ton, <laughs> you know, but we figured it out. And they were like, a, a vet should make this movie. Um, and what better vet to not have to pay any money than myself? <laughs> <laughs> you knew you could work inexpensively. Is that what yes, you're saying? Yes, yes. <laughs> right? I knew. I, I knew. I knew what. That's, I knew what I was. Name, I knew man. what I cost, and it wasn't anything. And so, that that helped. But but really, it was a matter of putting together an incredible team. All the other departments. I didn't realize this until my DP told me this. The director of photography is the only department head who wasn't a vet. And he told me he told me that, and I was like, "Wow, that's true." So there's so many vets that are also working in this industry, very experienced, understand the story that we're telling, mm-hmm. and you want those people around you in your ear to be like, "Maybe let's think about shooting it this way," or maybe he should say that instead of this. And all those things were a huge part of this. So it was so collaborative. I just felt supported before we even started, and I was like, "I know it's going to be hard, but I never played football before I was 29 years old, and somehow I." found my way on the field you yeah know man what I mean? and by the way flying back and forth to austin texas from the actual theater of battle over and over and over again yeah so making sure that the light hits the camera or you got the right shot in the daily it's hard work, though I mean, you know it's, <laughs> yeah it's, i know i bet it is but i think it came down to like if you can just communicate your vision your creative vision like what this is what i want to see and you've got people that are that are amazing at what they do and you mm-hmm. just you trust them as as much as you can, as hard as as you can with your baby, um, 
and just let it let it fly. I, I mean, that's the way. It, it, it'll the story will become what it is. I mean, what was written down originally on that first clean sheet of paper is very different than what we see on the screen, but it's better, way better than anything I could have thought up uh, or or crafted. I mean, just because of the people involved. I mean, every veteran on screen is played by an actual vet. That's amazing. All those athletes you mentioned and others, uh, Jared Bunch as well, you know, nice. New York Giants, like he, he's incredible. Again, that's I mean, a, again, of course, he's part of the Glazer family, the MVP family. Exactly. I just love it. Yeah. So uh, out of all, all the, the cameos, the biggest diva was Strahan? Was it? <laughs> you had to get like a certain room temperature, water, no, no all. peanut M and M's. No. You know, like Honestly, had to be regular M and M's. I was, was the, the biggest big... diva for sure. Oh, come on! <laughs> I had to be the biggest diva. Yeah, I was. I was. I needed everything. I wanted everything a certain way because it was so important to get it to try to get it right to do our best. Mm -hmm. I hope we did. Uh, I'm. I'm certainly proud of it. From the first time I watched it, I hated it, and I was like, oh, "You failed. Mm -hmm. you, you didn't. You just. It's a mess." And then the last time I watched it was in the theater, Super Bowl week. We screened it just yes. for MVP vets and, and, uh, and supporters and the family. And I was, that was the first time I not only enjoyed it, I was affected by it. Uh, I got emotional because I could feel the emotion in the room. Love it. And I was like, we, whatever, whoever we go with distrib distribution-wise, which uh, ended up being Film Rise, and they're a great partner, and I'm grateful, we we had to have a theatrical, like some kind of theatrical release. Cause getting people together in the room is what we do at MVP, getting them together to watch this film, the theater coming out of this pandemic. And we're still itching, scratching, clawing our way out of here. These moments where we can get together and experience things like this, uh, face to face is are really important. You know, they're really important and they, and they, they help me and I know they help uh, us at MVP as an organization, I think they help everybody. So how that's my, my my hope with this thing. How can everybody see it starting tonight, Nate Boer? So it's playing in 35 cities around the country, mm -hmm. including every NFL city. I love it. Uh, which is amazing. Uh, also San Diego, San Antonio, Austin, Orlando, and Salt Lake City. Um, you go to filmrise-screenings.com slash MVP, mm -hmm. or the way that I prefer and that we prefer mm -hmm. is you go to vetsandplayers.org on the center of the the homepage there. It says, watch the MVP movie. Click on that and it'll show you where you can purchase tickets online nice. to go see it in the theater. You gotta, you gotta buy the tickets online to go see it. Um, and it's playing only tonight at 7.30 p.m. no matter what time zone you're in at a AMC near you if you're one, in one of those 35 markets. Awesome. I love that. So everybody uh, go. check that out. Everybody go see <laughs> No it. football's on tonight. It's Wednesday night. I know. There's no football. What, what else is there to do other than just <laughs> check out MVP? And I just love what you uh, are doing with this venture along with Stray. Uh, Stray. I know is very important, but Glaze, uh, he, he's the heartbeat in many ways. And you, he, are, he you are the soul. He's the heartbeat. You're the soul. You can put it together. And then he's the soul. Then you're the heartbeat. You kind of swap <laughs> spots. It's no really, brains between the two of no, us, uh, but, but a lot you, of soul and heart. Uh, yeah, you've got brains. <laughs> I mean, Glaze, we all know. Uh, <laughs> Love that guy. Yeah, Thank, you, Jay. He Thank is, you, Jay. Thank you, Jay. We is, love you, bro. He is truly one of the most remarkable human beings I've ever met. That is and I don't, without I, a doubt. It is, uh, I don't correct. know how he has the time to do what he does in the day. The energy. And the, the energy, time. exactly. Exactly. And then when he battles himself and how open he is about his mental health, yeah. he's just a beautiful human. Um, his and, book, his, that's a powerful book. If you that, haven't read the book that yet. That is for sure. Merging Vets and Players. So it's vetsandplayers.org where you can also, that, let's, let's just spend a little bit of time yes. here for people who can, who need the workout work through, which by the way, take it, use yeah. it. Where, where again, Owning veterans, it. veterans need to get together or if there is an athlete who, who's trying to transition, get together, work out, and then you sit around and talk about your problems, your issues, um, and and you get some advice, you get some help, you get some you know camaraderie. How do people all get how do people get involved with that portion of this? Thank you, Rich. Yes, and 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 that's all the cool the cool thing about all that is it's all from your peers. It's all peer to peer. Everything mm -hmm. that we do that is the that is the heart and soul of what MVP is. Mm -hmm. um, we got eight chapters around the country: L.A., Vegas, Chicago, Atlanta, New York, Seattle, Dallas, Damn. and Phoenix opens this week beautiful yeah that's so great it's all happening but it's glaze all has happening. got he's he's moved to arizona so he's got that's right he's got to have oh, a spot he was like i need this man <laughs> and i'm like we know i do too we all do sure and so so that's happening uh soon but if you're not in one of those cities um we also have zoom options so just go to vetsandplayers.org oh, register if you are a combat vet or a former professional athlete 
just just go check us out, learn more. Uh, we would love to have you. And if you want to support us, go to vetsandplayers.org and shoot us a note. You know, if you want to host an event, host a screening of the movie, and, and every all these screenings we're going to be doing around the country are going to be fundraisers for MVP. Like that is the purpose. Mm -hmm. We want to continue to expand and reach out. Like that's that's where the the, the biggest win in this film is is, is telling our story. Um, but also continuing to grow, and this is how we do it. Um, but yeah, the, the the organization is is running strong. Um, it's it's incredible that we're in eight cities now. I mean, first time we came in here and talked about it, we were just really starting in LA, um, and now it's already there. And the goal is to be in those thirty five markets and beyond as MVP chapters, and we'll get there. And, and part of it is starts Wednesday night, starts tonight, Beautiful. tonight. Beautiful. Go. Congratulations on that. And um, so you're going to get Arch Manning involved at some point? Well, <laughs> you know, he hasn't signed his letter of intent yet for, for your Longhorns, but uh, we're going to get him involved at some I, point. He hasn't signed it? It's not official? Uh, we had, we I had don't know. Sarkeesian, we had Sarkeesian on the show the other day, and we were told he cannot take questions on Arch Manning yet. Oh, man. Well, I can. <laughs> <laughs> TJ can he's he's basing his retirement on all these rookie cards yeah. that he's bought. I'm, I'm oh, buying really? in. I've right? got a bunch of Arch Manning rookie cards. Smart. They're not even rookies though, right, Chris? I came and called them his rookie cards. He's in high school. He's in high school. He's <laughs> okay, a junior. Let's talk about it. <laughs> it's weird. But you could take questions on him. I love that. I can do it. <laughs> I'm just trying to buy a boat, Nate, and I think Arch yeah, can help. Just a boat. <laughs> I just want a boat. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, man. All right, everybody check out MVP. Uh, find where you can uh, we'll give that website one more time. You, yeah, we'll go to vetsandplayers.org. Right. And then on the homepage, click on right. watch the MVP movie or filmrise slash screenings.com slash MVP. Sorry, filmrise dash yes. Yes. screenings. Dot com slash MVP. You're the man, Nate Boyer. No, you are the man, no, Rich Eisen. Please. At least I can the do Brando so I, of Scorsese's. The Brando of Scorsese's. <laughs> the, Scor the Scorsese of Green Berets right here on the Rich Eisen Show. Everybody check out MVP in a theater near you.